is going on guys, Adam here at Hound of Hell Gaming. So this is going to be episode 1 of Blind Playthroughs. This one was requested by My Soul to Take. Uh, this is one of his favourite games ever. Um, just looking at the game modes and we've got safe or normal. Safe means that you can't get hurt and the monsters can do no damage. It seems pointless. So we'll go with normal. There isn't a harder difficulty, not at least in the beginning. Um, so we'll go with that. Uh, now, it is one of his favourite games, so I'm going to be paying very close attention. Uh, I'm going to be trying to figure things out as we go along. I'm not sure if this is going to be a one and done, or whether this is going to become a weekly series. If I love the game, it'll become a weekly. If I like it, or if I don't like it, uh, it's probably not going to become a weekly. Um, but we'll see. Let's go. Simon, I think you're bleeding. Oh, that, that's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. Here, take this. No, that, that's for later, for the scan. It's green. Ashley, I need to tell you something. Simon, please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. Why now? Who's David Lynch? Why is there never enough time? For what? Christ. Yeah, I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett? Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan. I remember. Are you all right? Yeah. Yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I, I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon. Put the tracer fluid. Nothing but fast food. Should buy something healthier on my way home. Active tracer fluid. Where hey, Simon, are you? it's Jesse. You working this weekend or what? I knew there was something you were doing. Was it this weekend or next? Anywho, just shoot me a mail or something. Love you, Mr. Mean it. End of messages. I swear, that guy has the memory of a goldfish. Right, watching TV gives me headaches now. Thank you, brain. So now something that's striking me as being a bit strange is how there are so many things for me to interact with. Um, oh, there's a dog out there Something's barking. Coming. Need to, yeah, um, it's a good one. I had to mute the TV quickly then. I did ask uh, whether there was any dogs in the game and he said no, but obviously he, <laughs> he didn't realize that even a bark outside the window is enough to trigger my dogs. Thankfully, I got it muted before they, they realised what was going on. Um, yeah, so back to the point. There are so many things that I'm able to interact with in this apartment. I'm finding it a bit strange. It's like it's flooding me with control. Um, which I assume is going to mean that they're going to take away control. And it doesn't feel like a horror game so far. So I think that would be one way of doing it. Uh, so giving me full control of the apartment, being able to interact with everything, Feels like and then taking that control taste. away. 
It's like sucking on a penny. Feels like milk, but tastes like sucking a penny. Lovely. Uh, as a person who had uh, problems swallowing tablets for many, many years and having to chew them, I can relate to how bad medication and medical stuff like the tracer fluid really does taste. It's absolutely disgusting. You think that you've tasted something disgusting in the past, like you've had disgusting food. I implore you to go and chew a paracetamol. That's, uh, oh. I thought there might have been something behind there, or at least a flash. You know, like a flashback or something like that, or nothing. So let's, uh, let's get on with it and go and see what's next in this story. Jesse. Simon, what's up? I want to check if you're coming to the store today. Uh, maybe later. I got the brain scan thing, remember? That's today. Knew you'd forget. I'm sorry. Just send me a mail next time. I need these things in writing. You know that. You know how we sell calendars? You should get one. I have one. I just never write anything in it. Maybe I'll swing by later. Depends on how long this scan thing takes. That's cool. I'll just get Chris to help me out. Anyway, we're getting a new minion today. Thought you might want to come by and say hi. Replacing Ashley already? Hmm. That was quick. No, it really wasn't. We've been understaffed for weeks, and you know it. I guess it's been a while. It really has. Like, a month already? Anyway, get the scan done, get good news from the doctor or whatever, come down to the store, say hi to the new guy, and lunch is on me. Thanks, Jesse. I really appreciate your support. Don't want to replace another minion. That's not funny. It's a little funny. No. No, it's not. Bye, Jesse. See you later. So that was a very creepy train ride. There wasn't really many opportunities to talk, so I thought I'd wait. Hello? This is the doctor's office, Dr. and Munchie? it's pitch black and being renovated. That's not good. Get the lights on. One thing they don't Where do in the horror movies, it's one mistake busy. I'm not going to make. You get the lights on as soon as possible. Well, let's have a look around, see what we need to do. Can we call someone? Read emails. This is the place, right? It must be. Let's just call Machi real quick. Great. Got his phone turned off. That's okay. I can figure this out.
And so I tried guessing it based upon the uh, numbers in that uh, leaflet, the dates and stuff. Obviously, that was wrong. But I read the email in the end. And we've got there. So let's see what's going on this way. That door's locked. First aid kit on the wall. It won't let me open it. Did I see a fire one behind us as well? Can't do anything with that either. I'm just trying to prepare for the worst case scenario in case something happens. Let's get my lights on. I'm glad they've got lights on this. Okay. Way to just have a syringe of medication lay around while this server's and uh, loads of technical equipment just there. It's very weird this, I don't like what's going on. Nervous system and then all these cables looking like they're becoming a nervous system. Something's not right here, at all. Oh, hi. Didn't hear you come in. Simon Jarrett, right? Dr. Munchie? Well, it's uh, just Mr. Munchie. But I'm working on it. Actually, you're helping me right now. Is this part of your thesis work? Yeah. It's a study I'm doing with my colleague, Paul Berg. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. Oh, did you uh, take the tracer fluid? Yes. Yes, I did. Great. Well, we can start whenever you're ready. So we've got lots of server stacks here. This place looks very unprofessional. It is not hygienic at all. He's just admitted he's not a doctor. Why the hell is he going through with it still? So, what exactly are we doing? We're going to do a scan of your brain. Then we build a computer model of it and bombard it with stimuli. The program will help us to quickly iterate your treatment plan until it's fully optimized. In short, develop the perfect treatment for your condition. So it's not just a study. This will actually help me. I should hope so. Otherwise, this would be a huge waste of time. <laughs> All right, let me just get this out of the way. You are Simon Jarrett, correct? Right. Toronto, Canada, David Munchie. Born 1988, July 16. Right. Flat neurograph, version 6. Good. All files in order. Will this hurt? It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. That's so. Well, let's hope they're wrong. <laughs> Ready? Say cheese. Mr. Munchie? Did something go wrong? This isn't funny. So straight away I can tell you that was a wetsuit. Is this place? There's that blood all leading here. to the chair as well. Lovely. Yeah, those are wetsuits. So we are I underwater. We we'll need to make things worse. Perhaps in a submarine, uh, underwater lab or something like that. It's kind of the vibe I'm getting at the minute. Uh, I don't know what we've got to do here. Uh, doors locked. We're trapped in here. What's this for? That's really bad. That was very out of place. That can't go anywhere up above. Maybe we smashed the window. Is that possible? Yeah, that's possible. Okay. Nice and simple. Let's go have a look round. 
Got a very creepy vibe to it. Kind of reminds me of Alien Isolation. Uh, let's open this in case we have to run back here. It's probably better to go through a door than through a window. than expected. They're having a really hard time getting the doors open. Call Permaseal as many as you can, rather than not take any chances. Roger. Did you cut off the factory floor? All done. Should keep most of them out. I'm on my way to lock off the comp center. Just make sure to leave a way out of here. Trust me, I'll get you the data safe and sound. We just need to make sure we're leaving on power running so we don't have to return. I hear that. See you back at camp. Working better than expected. So I'm 100% thinking that this is some sort of underwater station uh, rather than a submarine. Usually in a submarine, obviously we're moving, everything's quite round, narrow, not usually open spaces like what we're seeing here. Um, like tables have lips on them so that things can't slide off. We're not seeing that at all here. So I think this is a lab or a, a station or something like that. That's weird. Hey you, can you talk? Can you talk like the others? Why are you like this? You want some structure gel? Yeah, you do. So weird. Doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna shut you down now, okay? Yeah, you're creepy as hell, so I'm gonna shut you down. So it seems like there's something behind that door, um, but it seems like that's where we have to go as well. I have no weapons, the only uh, weapon I have is 
stealth, which if you've watched any of my other videos, you know is not my strong suit. Uh, so let's get this door open. Let's face it head on, whatever it may be. It's not giving me weapons to deal with it, so whatever will be, will be. Let's have a look. Whatever it was was banging on this door pretty hard. And there's nothing here by the looks of it. It's very strange. Unless he's hallucinating and it didn't really happen. Let's have a look around. So there's a couple of things so far that I'm not a fan of. No weapons is not good for me. I don't like it. I'm a control freak. If you take away that element of control of being able to defend myself, it's not something that I'm going to enjoy. Um, I mean, I'm enjoying the, the mystery of it, but nothing else really so far. Uh, I don't know what I'm meant to do here. Uh, the other thing that I'm not enjoying is having no map, no waypoint, no mini map, nothing like that. I'm all for exploring, but I'm not for going around in circles over and over again because it's not made it obvious and clear what you're meant to do. So that's going to be an issue for me. I have no idea what I'm doing with this, so let's try and figure this out. Just find a way. You're an engineer for crying out loud. 
What else? Take care of your gear. Don't be an asshole. That's about it, really. My name is John Strohmeyer, Pathos 2 security operative. I got an office at Theta. Come see me if you got any issues you can't handle yourself. Good luck. I know they told I don't know what the hell that was, that looked like Dr. Octopus mixed with Venom over there. All I could see was black tentacles. I assume it's going to make me go that way in a minute and it's trying to scare me. Well, we'll have to get up earlier than that to scare me. Let's, uh, let's go have a look.
Egypt back. Yeah, that was not obvious that those were there at the side of it. I'm really not happy with that. There should be something showing what you can at least interact with. Um, you know, like we have in uh, older games where you had the, the glistening effect, where you would have like a silver thing shining at you to let you know that you could use it. Even something like that would be enough, but you just saw how much time I just wasted looking around and it was right next to me. Uh, and I don't necessarily think that's my fault. I don't think I've done anything wrong, I just think the game wasn't clear enough. Um, yeah, so far the game is all, all bark and no bite. It's doing things to try and scare me and intimidate me. Like, uh, those tentacles sticking down and then I walk past there and there's nothing there. The noises, there's really loud noises all the time. Footsteps above me and things like that. But so far, it's so good basically, and there's absolutely nothing. Nothing stopping us. So here we go, as predicted, uh, we are on some sort of underwater station. This looks like the ocean floor to me. You can barely see the daylight uh, coming through the water. Uh, if that is even daylight that we're seeing. Um, so yeah, I do uh, think these people possibly went a little bit mad. Who the hell is talking to me? What are these voices telling me to stay and wait here? Like, I, nothing. St st who's telling me that? Nothing's happening. I can't stay here. I've waited long enough. There's nothing going on. What's that shining? What's that lighting up over there? There's nothing going on. Let's have a look at what this is. What the hell is that? Ah! What on earth just what happened? What was that? Why did I just put my finger in that glowing bum hole and it stopped it glowing? What on earth? Can somebody explain what the hell just happened? I, I, I have no idea what that was. I just saw a hole and had to put my finger in it. Sometimes it's just the way it's got to be done.
I literally have no idea what these things are. At least not doing a good job of explaining anything so far. I know I'm only 40 minutes into the game, but like I literally know nothing other than what I'd already guessed. Crazy robots that seem to have been taken over by some sort of parasite. I have... I have no idea. I don't even know how long this game is. Like it could be a short game or it could be a really long game. Judging by how much information I've been given so far, I would probably guess it's going to be a long game. Can you hear me? I hear you. Uh, Absalon, what's going on? Uh, I, I have no idea. I, I just sort of woke up here. In the room right now? Uh, it, it, was, it was like a, a seat with a helmet. Is that right? Uh, what's your name? I, I'm Simon Jarrett. And what are you... Oh, sing, oh, damn relays. Where are you now? Uh, 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 someplace dealing with electrical power. I, I'm not sure if it's a plant or a transformer. Uh, yeah, you're probably in the thermal plant somewhere. You want to go upstairs to the comm center. It's the room with the dome ceiling. Uh, hey, look, look, this place is not... There's something seriously wrong here. Hello? I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. We lost another relay. Just listen, head for the comm center upstairs. I'll wait here. So, so far, I don't hate this game at all. I, I quite like it. There are things that I don't like about it. That I've already explained. I don't think I'm going to be coming back and, and completing this game. I think I'm going to focus on playing it for another hour or so after this. Uh, and see where that takes me. Uh, maybe that will change everything, but I can't see it, to be honest. I don't think many things are going to change, especially the things that I don't like. Um, I can hear something coming. And again, I've been able to hear something coming pretty much the whole time I've been playing. Let's have a look around. I don't know what these things are meant to do. Noises over there. I just see light on there. Oh. Okay, I assume I have to avoid that. So let's try and do that.
Oh, another glowing bum hole for me to put my finger in. Go on, lad. <sighs> One of the weirdest things I've ever seen in a game, that. What's moving in there? That's just uh, machinery of some sort. Oh, wow, these guys have gone completely loco. Good drawing, though. Uh, it's not normal, is it? Let's go see what's going on around here. Anything interesting? Well, thanks for being so helpful. It's not like I'm knocked out on the floor or anything. Hello, can you... Hello, can you hear me? It's me, Carl, calling from the floor. Can I see you? Oh, Jesus Christ, I'm killing it. I need to go and flip my switch again, I think. Can't remember that. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna say I can't remember that one. Jesus. Right, let's go check if it's okay. I can't move. I'm sorry, I, I think I pulled the wrong lever. Oh, don't sweat it. Just get me a doctor. He's dead? He's dead.
Oh, hello, Chica. Uh. Is that patting a dog or something? Read this. Make sure you want it bad enough. There's no turning back. Well, there's no turning back anyway. Let's do it. completely cornered by this thing as it's seen man it moves very weird that very creepy E.T. carrying a backpack filled with rocks it's a very strange description but that's is what it's reminding me of at least it didn't seem man I need to try and get out of it I don't know where I need to go now There's not, there's not too much open space out there. I might have to run from this thing. So that's going to be the end of this episode guys, I do think I'll probably do one more episode, if I'm going to be playing it I might as well uh, do something with the footage. So I'll play at least another maybe hour on the game uh, and release a part 2 of this. Um, but yeah, thanks very much for watching, let me know if you enjoyed this um, and if you have any requests for my next blind playthrough, please let me know. The next one that I've got coming up is Bloodborne, you don't want to miss it. Thanks for watching, take care guys.